Hello everyone, this is Siddhant. In this video, we'll see how Notification Center works. Last video we saw how Delegate works and now see uh, how Notification Center works. So for Notification Center, I mean for passing value through Notification Center, uh, we have to think about two things. One is adding the ob observer and the other thing is uh, firing the notification. So uh, I have two view controller here. One is view controller and uh, the map view controller. These two are in it inherited from UI view controller. And let's let's go to the storyboard and in storyboard you can see what exactly I'm going to do. This is my map view controller. This is my map view controller. Map view controller, and I have two labels here. This label is called label notify and this label is called label model these are two IB outlets set for these two labels I will update these two labels to the value uh, through notification uh, uh, through uh, notification center okay now let's let's go to uh, okay okay so first uh, where I am observing and where I am from where I am firing let's see it here in view did lower of uh, view controller I'm writing the observer writing the observer here what I want to do I want to update the label message what is this label message this label message is nothing but this one this label uh, IB outlet is label message this label I'm observing here and the other thing I showed you previously that is this thing if I tap on this it is saying hey buddy so how it is showing and where am I writing the code for this let's go to map view controller here you can see this I'm writing here NS notification center post notification and at the same time I'm adding an observer here and this class is nothing but map b controller class so in map b controller class I have a observer first and next I'm firing the notification the name is same you can see it I'm passing the object this is the ID type and here this is the string hey buddy and this is getting and you can see the selector do notify here either do notify selector and I'm updating this okay so here is my uh, uh, label notify and uh, and you can see here the observer here I have the observer and the here from here I am firing the notification and I am firing this object this is nothing but a string and uh, I have kept the breakpoint here now uh, let me run the application okay okay fine so here right now it is saying message let me clear this and if I uh, tap and move it will take me to the new uh, I mean next view controller this is my view controller here I am observing first I need to write in this notification center default center add observer self and uh, a selector any uh, method so uh, this will perform the task while we uh, fire the notification and uh, we have two observer at the moment here is the one at uh, map view controller and another we have uh, observer here inside uh, okay uh, this one inside view controller view did load we have a observer here so while we fire the notification both the observer will catch and they will perform the task so let me put a breakpoint here okay so both the things will be called let me go back and let me forward it okay you can see the name names would be same because we are dealing with the same notification uh, here we fired we just fired it okay now it came 
to view controllers add observer here is the add observer it have it has already been observed so it it started performing the task and this label message is nothing but uh, the this one you can see this label so it will update this label I'm going next I'm going next and okay now it is started performing the task for uh, map view controller now what it will do is it will and this label notify is nothing but uh, the the first label and the next page and the pink color okay uh, well let me go one step forward and uh, just ignore this uh, these things we'll be talking about this while you'll be talking about a model view controller not now so here is the uh, notify inside this I have a body string here okay so this will update this label notify this label notify is nothing but the uh, uh on the pink color background we have two labels the top one is the label notify one okay now let's see what it has done okay the, the first one it has up, uh, updated this one and just ignore this null thing we'll be talking about this later while you'll be talking about model view controller <coughs> okay now we had two observers one observer at, uh, was at uh, view controller and other observer was at uh, map view controller so map view controller task is done it has already been performed uh, we fired the notification and it updated uh, here let's go back and let's see whether it has updated the label or not yeah see this this has already updated this label as well so this is how notification center works notification center I mean you fire the notification at one place at one place and this is a place and keep their uh, observers at many places and the provided the add observer should be initialized first before you fire the notification so in this way uh, one time you once I mean at one place you fire the notification it will be observed at many different places and all the tasks will be done so this was about its notification center i mean uh, passing the value from one place to another place now let's talk about the model view controller i have created a model so you can see this one this is uh, inherited from any subject i have few properties here so this properties internally works as a setter and getters so I have the properties like name, age, sex, qualification, location, and their uh, work experience. And uh, just for demonstration, I have uh, kept an NS log here. But we'll uh, do something else. Uh, let's go to uh, the view controller and let's see how to pass value from one view controller to another view controller in forward by the help of uh, properties so i have to move uh, to map view controller from view controller okay and the, let's see how i am working with this model so first i have this view controller here i am receiving value uh, I mean I mean I'm passing value from uh, last time we have seen uh, this get message this method this is a protocol method actually the delegate method and um, uh, what I'm doing here is I have uh, this array okay well uh, let's go to the uh, protocol declaration and I have done that here 
I've done that here you can see this one this is the delegate method so uh, the task was done here get message where is that uh, action pass value sender this is for the passing value action pass caller okay okay this is the button action um, uh, on top of uh, hide and so we are getting that uh, uh, slider uh, slide panel view and there we have a button called action I mean uh, pass value so this is the action for that and here I'm writing uh, I mean I'm initializing the model and I'm I'm setting the value for it I'm setting the all these these are the properties there and I'm setting all these values and uh, I am uh, firing this delegate uh, from here and I am getting the, this this personal this person array is nothing but uh, this person I am adding the object every time I fire every time I uh, every time I tap on this uh, pass value and then a new instance will be added to this array so let's see uh, how it is getting added uh, let's go back to the view controller and here I'll be getting the value okay let's put some breakpoint and uh, run the application okay I typed on hide and so and let me tap on pass well and before this let me delete all the logs and there uh, let me run the application uh, my application is here okay so our application is here if I tap on fast value now I have the breakpoint is here okay I just tapped on pass value and here I'm getting the array one element one time we pass the value from there okay in order to do that what we can do is uh, little breakpoint here uh, okay now okay one item is added to the array let me do it again one more time okay it is just initializing everything and uh, it is creating new instance and it is adding to the array okay and I came here I can see here two elements two elements so my model is passed from that place to this place I mean this is the controller my model is carried out up to this place so far and you can see two uh, two items into the array okay now I mean we have uh, passed two objects uh, in the array and at the same time the text uh, we were passing like you are awesome we have done this before you are awesome the message is you are awesome and the two objects have already been passed but now see from here I mean the model the model was already been created and the data is already been inserted to the model now the data is uh, getting carried from one plus place to another place but we have not used that into the view let's use the data into the view if I tap and move now if I tap and move what it will do it will take me to uh, the next view controller I mean my view controller and as, uh, as we have saw, seen before it is just observed it is just firing the notification and it is doing all the tasks now here that time it was showing null and this time we are taking the first object in the array the first object in the array we just uh, took that object into this because we have already two uh, objects into the array and we are taking the first object here we got the object okay now fine very good and uh, we are accessing through the properties and we have uh, that label which were which was showing null null everything and I uh, I just concatenated all their data with their string with format here and I'll show all the data here you can see the 
data which I uh, brought from that place uh, to this. I mean, I took a model, I inserted all the data into the model, then I carried that data from one place to another place. I mean, from uh, the text view to uh, the view controller and from view controller to the map view controller i brought the data i mean the data uh oh, keep on and the data was keep on traveling uh, through the controller and this is the view this particular screen i mean this is the view on this view we kept the data and the data holder was the model so this is nothing but a model view controller this is this is design pattern and this is the king of design pattern everybody follows this so for uh, coding uh, for easy understanding what exactly people uh, do is uh, they create uh, different groups like uh, I have a group here and in group they will write it as model and they will keep this into the model because this is I mean we will be dealing with uh, the data here and this thing this is completely into view this is the you can see this view so let's create another group let's create another group called view and let's place the view things here and uh, we have uh, we are not working we are not dealing with these things I'm just deleting these things okay we have view we have model and we are dealing with the controllers these are controllers let's let me create another group called controller let me create a group Let me create a group for uh, controller. And in controller, I'll keep uh, these controllers. Okay, now dealing with map view to the controller yeah now I have model I have view and I have controller so these are other stuff we can uh, keep these things right now we are not uh, talking about is and uh, these things we will be working on these things so for now <coughs> Uh, we show how notification center works and how to pass value from one uh, place to another place in forward direction and in backward direction and then uh, uh, a multiple uh, from one place will fire and they will get uh, those things at multiple different uh, places uh, so this video is all about uh, the traveling data from one place to another place uh, by the help of notification center and uh, by uh, help of uh, MBC architecture so we have model we have view we have controller so we at uh, we took the value we placed those value into the model and we moved the model uh, data from one view controller to another view controller so thank you so much for watching. I hope you might have enjoyed. Thank you so much.